Amy Bazile has created the perfect women's t-shirt. The Scout Couture founder jumped into the entrepreneurial world with her perfectly cut, incredibly soft and versatile article of clothing, all while being a busy wife and mother. Bazile chats exclusively with OK about how she got her business off the ground, making her design stand out from any other brand and how she balances it all. I was having a hard time finding those real closet staples that you don't have to replace on a regular basis, the businesswoman reveals. The t-shirt for me was one of those first things where I kept buying and the fabric wouldn't hold up, it stretches out. I was like, this is a problem. Bazile knew that if she had this issue with her wardrobe, millions of other women must be, too. I started to think through how many other pieces do I have in my closet that I would like to replace instead, have the pieces live in the closet forever and ever and ever. They don't go out of style, they stay around, she explains. I started to think through some of those staple pieces that I knew women could use, she spills. That's where the vision came from. The only issue I had was that I had never designed before. I spent many years doing all different facets of the fashion industry, but design was probably one of those areas that I didn't know well. Despite the setback, Bazile launched into making her dream a reality. I wanted it to be a flattering fit. I didn't want it to be overly tight because none of us like anything overly tight when you're looking for comfort. But I also didn't want it to be so baggy that you couldn't layer, the creator notes. I wear it on days when it's still a little chilly out. I wear it underneath a sweatshirt or a jacket. For me, it's like how being able to do a lot of different things with the tea, but then also making yourself feel like you're a woman and it's flattering for you, she adds. While juggling a booming business and a full life, Bazile consistently remembers to give herself moments to breathe. I've learned, especially with this entire process, that I have to allow myself grace, she says. We're our own worst critics. I'm always going to want to try to do it all, but then there are certain days where you can't.